So hello the trust and welcome to the club. <coughs> when I was hitting the brake I noticed it didn't break that well anymore. And the problem is this little rivet here has come loose. And so obviously we could just go ahead and remove the whole unit and replace it, but I decided to fix it. That's just I usually do. Never throw anything away as long as you can fix it. That's why I have a 20 year old, uh, 30 year old TV. <laughs> what I'm doing right now here is I'm loosening the, the holding screw here. So I can spin this around to work on it a bit better. Here we see the rivet is not longer in this position. When I hit the brake, it doesn't really work anymore. And that's a problem. You see it has even come loose now. So what we do now is quite simple. We have to replace either the unit, which I don't do, or this rivet. There are two washers on each on, or on each side, and I will uh, try to peel this out here. Let's see if I can get you a bit better view here. So it will probably still be a bit of a tight squeeze. I don't try to I try not to bend anything. But well, there we go. There we go. We don't need that anymore. It's for cleaning later. <laughs> and now we just need to find a screw that fits here. Try not to drop all those screws again. This seems to be a good size. Got a bit of play, but the length seems okay. Uh, let's go for one bigger. Uh, yeah, let's do this one here. Look at this. new screw. This rubber washer thing is brittle but should still kind of work. I have to put this in here. By the way this is how I change the wire. It's just stuck in here like this. <laughs> then it goes in here. Where it slipped out and then we have to put it back in, which is easier if you don't have to rivet. So, now, the wire goes through the string again into the front. We put the bolt here through the hole and then we gotta put I will show it. So, there it is. And after we screw the nuts on, we will put a bit of nail polish on it, on the threads to lock them in. You can use professional thread locker, but this works fine. So, 
Is it in focus? Kind of. So we will tighten this a bit, just to squeeze this a bit together, and then the next step. So for the process of tightening it, I'm just going easy here. I hold the nut and I put in a screw. And as you see, we got a lot of play here in the back still. Trying not to bump the tripod. This looks fine. Got a bit of wiggle, but that's normal. And now we put another nut on it. So they interlock with each other. And clamp the thing shut. But first, the promised bit of nail polish here. To glue it in place. This is an old trick, but it really works great. solid this won't come loose anytime in the future and yeah it's not really in focus but that's my stupid digital camera so next step is to relocate the brake in its usable position where it belongs so that I can easily grab it while riding and it's not in the way I want it somehow here that's a good one and then reattach the screw Finished. Now we got a good position here. But no, let's add it anyhow. Let's add a bit of maintenance. And another. Certain protocols or nerdy things, but we're just doing it the old fashioned way. Really for the pressing the brake lever and spraying a bit in here. Loading a bit of it. That's how you get it loose. Just to be careful not to get any on the brake pads. And you can check them by the way, they are fine. The old ones nearly never wear down. Also the rims on the old ones don't wear down. It's not like with the modern bikes. They are made to last on now, it's getting smooth. That's how we like it. Do this after each winter, it's just a mandatory thing to do. 